So allow me to bring some clarity to the subject because again, this concern is very prevalent. This is a question that always comes up and I don't see it addressed a lot. This way of tracking results and being able to analyze and measure, that's the key to understanding return on investment. Basically, the plan is to put figures into a, uh, a clear marketing equation. I spend this amount, I get this back. Simple as that. Even better when you can figure out a time frame. I spend this amount, I get this amount back in this amount of time. That's excellent. Greetings, Anthony Washington here. And the purpose of this channel is to teach you how to maximize your marketing dollars for exponential profits. I'm usually in contact with pretty bright, astute, forward-thinking entrepreneurs. Uh, they're, they're great operators. They know how to perform their job well. Uh, you have those, uh, those entrepreneurs who are great leaders. They know how to galvanize. They know how to um, delegate. They know how to, ins to inspire. You also have your technical systems-oriented guys who know how to, uh, uh, you know, they're on the other side of the spectrum. They see the bigger picture and then they break those, break every part of the of the business down into processes and they make it run efficiently. Uh, but the one thing that virtually all entrepreneurs, and I hate to say this, virtually all entrepreneurs uh, fall short is marketing, deploying a, a, a strategic and effective marketing plan. One thing a, uh, a mentor told me a long time ago, a guy in real estate, he said that I'm not in the business of real estate, I'm in the business of marketing. And you can replace real estate with whatever business you're, you're in, in the business of law, insurance, or whatever it is, you're in the business of marketing because nothing happens until somebody knows that you exist. You can learn how to market yourself, you can learn and immerse yourself in, in the world of marketing. And I know uh, plenty entrepreneurs who have done that and who are uh, be who are able to juggle and understand uh, different components of marketing and they understand it well and they're still great operators in their actual business but uh, most savvy investors will hire out their marketing efforts of course uh, you know how to operate in your wheelhouse you know what is the best highest use of your time writing copy making videos creating posts sometimes that's just not the a lot of most of the time that's not the best use of the operator's time the you know the ceo's time the business owner's time so you hire an expert but do you know exactly what that entails how do you know what type of return you're getting with this investment to to hire somebody out correct me if i'm wrong does it feel like you're gambling your money away with no clear expectation of what the outcome is what the results will be one thing that i'll say is that there's a major gap between what is what actually works and what is popularized. I believe that's the reason why most entrepreneurs fail at marketing right now. That's because traditional methods are still very commonplace, like print ads, uh, TV commercial spots, radio spots. These things still work, but, um, but usually for those with huge resources and large budgets. Now, if you're a business owner, if you have, you've had experience with an agency be before, uh, it's likely that they'll ask you what your budget is and then they uh, they go on about basically implementing a strategy to spend that entire budget with um, you know based around creative and catchy brand recognition through repetition that's their strategy is just brand recognition and repetition that's what the formula has been for decades now that's what was taught by uh, the the fathers of yesteryear in the marketing space and that applied to whatever medium platform we were, were we're talking about so it went like this here's our name here's our logo here's our uh and we're going to hit you over the head as many times as we can with our slogan with our with our jingle or whatever it is uh to to hit you over the head with that repetition or branding look like here's who we are here's our here's our name here's our logo and here's everything that we do Call us. For example, we're a law firm and we handle medical malpractice, wrongful deaths, social security, taxes, work-related injuries, personal injury, criminal, civil, and family cases. You get what I mean? The problem with these traditional styles of advertising is that it's impossible to measure. Now, large operations with um, large budgets, they usually aren't concerned with measuring or their measuring criteria is totally different than what you may think. 
When you're operating in a lean manner, the ability to measure the results is critical. So allow me to bring some clarity to the subject because, again, this concern is very prevalent. This is a question that always comes up and I don't see it addressed a lot. In order to be able to understand your ROI on hiring a marketing consultant, as well as your marketing strategy overall, you need to have a clear plan, specific objective that you want to uh, that you want to happen. That can be opting into your email list or however you want them to enter into your sales funnel. Hopefully you have a sales funnel. This is a specific thing you can track all the way through to an actual sale. This way of tracking results and being able to analyze and measure that's the key to understanding return on investment. Basically, the plan is to put figures into a, uh, a clear marketing equation. I spend this amount, I get this back. Simple as that. Even better when you can figure out a time frame. I spend this amount, I get this amount back in this amount of time. That's excellent. See, this all starts with targeting. Targeting is a basic principle of marketing. You speak to a specific group of people with certain behaviors, and characteristic from there you tailor your ad your offer your funnel the uh, the entry point your landing page your website to fit that objective and to execute the plan in the entire time you're able to measure that and tweak and test test and tweak so you hire a marketing consultant to establish an, uh, an effective strategy for marketing to your target audience now, in some cases that marketing consultant may actually execute certain tasks um, associated with this plan uh, but typically their expertise is going to be uh, their main focus is on high level strategy they have a fresh perspective and they uh, they're not subject to cognitive biases and, and, and tunnel vision which can be uh, which can plague a small business business owner in their industry that it's pretty much inevitable when you keep your marketing efforts uh, in-house ultimately the marketing consultant should be able to to help you set up a machine a machine that spits out leads and they also should, uh, should be able to help you nurture and facilitate those leads at every interval that they come in every stage of nurturing that they require until they start producing revenue and hopefully recurring revenue now once your ad campaigns are set up efficiently and you you're able to measure and analyze and track and, and anticipate certain things in your business then that's when you're able to keep in, in improving things like your sales process and um, ultimately your closing rate once you get to that point it's going to be a no-brainer as far as the investment it's just it's going to be a matter of what's the return on investment and what can how much more can uh, I pour into that lead machine that's going to bring more revenue. For example, you can get to the point where you calculate uh, one out of ten prospect inquiries end up as a client at thirty worth thirty thousand dollars. You have a ten percent closing rate. If the services of your marketing consultant, um, setting up the ad, running the ad, the campaign costs you twenty thousand dollars, and generated two hundred new leads. That would result in basically 20 new clients at your current closing rate of 10%. That's a return on investment of 1,850%. That's phenomenal. And those returns aren't far-fetched and way less volatile than the stock market. Do you see now the positive return on investment that a marketing consultant can bring to your operation?